What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Magic Online Dominaria Shadows of Renistrad uh, Avacyn Restored Draft. I think we just take this. I think this is fine to take first pick. It's better than the green cards. There's no real other good red cards. Surveyor is good first pick, but. Oh. Favorite deck to draft in Dominaria when it's open is the probably the multicolor deck. Those decks are the best. I also like black, white, and blue, white. Speaking of which, Call the Cavalry might just be better than, might be better than this. It also keeps us. I think Call is actually the better pick than than Grand Warlord. That's super weird. Call the Cavalry is just so un. un over overwhelming in this in this stream in this format stream <laughs> oh a cast down and another call to cavalry and it's probably cast down right yeah I'm gonna take cast down I guess we're gonna go black white again so far could be anything I would like to see another blindfolded draft again. That was sweet, actually. Those were good times. I think they're better with cubes, though. Like, because in the cube, you can always... You can always put something together. You can always end up putting some kind of deck together because the cards are so powerful. Whereas, like, in a regular format like Dominaria, if you pick a card, then they pick a card, you could literally just end up with two different decks that you can't, you just can't even play. I did not get all that sleep last night. I went to bed at like 4, because that's my usual time to go to bed. And uh, I woke up at around 9. And the past two nights in a row, I've woken up at like 9. It's the past two mornings, rather. But in my head, I'm like, oh, dang, it's noon already. I have to wake up um, to get like 8 hours of sleep. But then I wake up at 9 after like 5 hours of sleep. And is the second night in a row it's happened. And I'm just like, ugh. And then I can't really fall back asleep after that for some reason. You guys know I love Temporal Sundering, but I think it's one of these two. I think Call is strong enough that we can take the, the Sergeant here and not abandon White. Mentos, the Fresh Maker. Journey Mage is very good. I'll be one of the 10 subs if you can get Mike to eat one of the five pound bag of ice also. Um, that would probably be detrimental to Mike's health <laughs> or his teeth. Uh, I, I'm not sure I'm going to be honest with you. Ozzy Rock, I would appreciate this sub, but I don't know if it's necessarily worth that. I think Sentry's probably worth it just to stay black or stay white rather. Yeah, tech CEOs have crazy routines sometimes. Oh, Quende. I will take Quende. Doesn't really seem like much of a choice here. The only other option in that pack, I think, was the Thalid Omnivore, but considering we're not green, it's less powerful. Still a very strong card. If you can make tokens, even like Sergeant Arm tokens, like 1-1s, one uh, it's pretty good. You're all, I mean, like, even if you let it sit out for a few hours and drink it, you're still drinking five pounds of water. Uh, which is also probably not healthy. I don't think any aspect of five pounds of consuming five pounds of of H two O in in any in any state is healthy. 
Last Friday, I drafted my local just for one box and drafted Blue White, had a Raph, Sunvada, Lyra, jeez, managed to flash in Sunvada. With Kicker during my apprentice turn one, turn one time and it felt too good, ended up taking down the whole thing and one that's sick. My LGS was almost out of boxes and asked me if I can pick it up Wednesday so they had pass. Yeah, I think that's fair though. I, I always like to help out local stores if they have that kind of uh if that if they have that kind of issue. Also, there's been a there's been definitely a, a shortage of Dominaria stuff. Like people are just out of it. Is five pounds of water only two and a half liters? I don't know. I don't I'm I'm American, so I don't know how that translates. Ooh, we actually like Dark Bargain here. But I don't know if it's just better than taking the jousting lance and staying open. Wow, five pounds of water is only 0.6 gallons. That doesn't seem right. Water has weird. Water is weird, man. Yeah, I'll take the lance. Uh, anything I care about here? No, I'll just take Arcane Flight on a Quende. It's pretty good. All right, so there's literally no black whatsoever. So I'm gonna start steering towards blue. Water is eight pounds a gallon? My God. Yeah, it's really raining out there. So hopefully you guys don't get hope I don't get cut off during this draft. It is really raining. Can you guys hear it? Welcome to hurricane season. Uh, it rains pretty frequently. Yeah, Florida is a very, very wet state. Mama, don't take my Kodachrome away. Mama, don't take my Kodachrome away. Oh, precognition field. God, I can. I literally open terribly. This is like 35 drafts, and I have literally yet to open a, uh, a Karn or a Lyra. I moved from rainy, rainy to rainy. That is correct. Watsi fired their VP of production. I don't even know what that would be, what that person is in charge of. I want this Gideon's approach, but I think it's Time of Ice because it's just a very, very strong card. We all know that. I don't have to sell you guys on Time of Ice. Oh, Baird. So we're just playing four drops dot deck over here. Yeah, there's nothing in this pack that's even really uh, comparable to Baird. Did you guys say you could hear the rain? Did you guys did you guys let me know? Can you hear it? Warped cards, tissue paper, crepes, yeah, stuff like that. Just say you like the crepes. Say you like the little pancakes. I think white is one of the I think white is probably one of the, if not the strongest color in this format. But if you can hear it, I don't, I don't think it's unpleasant by any means. Oh, Gilded Lotus. Gilded Lotus helps us splash cast down. 
I mean, otherwise it's probably just Snapper because we have double Arcane Flight. Uh, I don't want to open an Ariel because I'm not black anymore. I'd rather open up a Lyra because it's, like, significantly more money. I would also rather open up a Karn. God, I think it's just Turtle. Oh, I like an Invoke. I got way too excited over an Invoke, which is basically a... a... Ugh, is this guy streaming from a rainforest or something? Uh, and then the YouTube comments get real meta, and then people say that just to just to fulfill it. Yeah, that was an easy pick. Uh, also easy pick. All right. This deck's coming together. Hey, it's my favor, not yours. Okay, that's fair, Squirrel Monger. I, I can't actually... Yeah, I can't actually decide what... What card to open as a favor to you. Wow, a pronunciation for dummies. The irony is that you are currently not subscribed. So, looks like you stayed true to your word there, buddy. I'll, look, there are four really, really great cards that you can open. Tefri, Lyra, Karn, and History of Dominaria. I'll tell you what, I'm fine with all of them. I'm not even going to be picky about it. None of these cards are any good. I want to take Compass just in case. What if that Gilded Lotus comes back? Thank you. Oh, pronunciation for dummies. Welcome back with the three months in a row. Appreciate it. Ozzy Rock Twenty One. Thank you so much, man. Even if I don't, I hope I hope you still uh, I hope you can still support me. Even if I don't get Mike to eat that five pound bag of ice, I do appreciate the sub, man. Thank you. Oh, uh, I, I feel like our blue cards are worth staying. I think it's, I feel like it's worth staying blue here. I, I don't think Ergos is that great. I've played him multiple times. He's too expensive and he doesn't really like, he just dies a lot. Yeah, we'll probably just end up opening Jaya or Jaya's Emulating Inferno, one or the other. This Shivan Fire is surprising though. I'll take that over a charge. Can we get that, can we get Gilded Lotus? If Gilded Lotus comes back, I might just splash Shivan Fire and cast down off of Compass and Gilded Lotus. That would be pretty sweet. What did I say? History of Dominaria? Did I say History of Dominaria? That's the only thing I could think I would have said. Uh, did I just get... Did I get my histories confused? I'm sorry, guys. I didn't study history in college. History of Dominaria. <laughs> That's okay, man. I'm just making up my own cards. You know, it's, it's still interesting to me that Dominaria is going to be such a... It's like a solo set, you know? Like, there's no there's no second set where we, uh, where we further the storyline of Dominaria. Like, the next block in three... You know, whenever... After Core uh, 2019 comes out, like, the next block is just... Not even block, I guess. The next set is just a standalone. It's just a brand new plane. That's interesting. I'm, that's still not something I'm used to. I'm used to, like, spending three sets worth of time on a plane. Usually I'm used to I'm spending nine months on Innistrad or nine months on, uh, you know, Shadowmoor or whatever. Like, that's weird that we're like, we spend three months on Dominaria and then we're done. Completely new draft format. But that's cool, though. Like, I think that's going to be, uh, that's going to be good. Oh, I want to, I want to bounce uh, Time of Ice with my Guardians. With my Guardians of the Galaxy. Squirrelmonger, it's it's literally what you typed, but put card in front of it and then put a space. Another compass. All right, mono com mono mono artifacts in the sideboard. Dot deck. This deck definitely needs. This has been a weird draft. I feel like none of the colors are super strong. Mm-hmm. 
Alright, come on. Jaya's emulating Inferno or Jaya herself. One of the two. Let's get it over with. <laughs> All your on-screen chatter belonged to MTG Bot. That is correct. That is a wordy card. Nah, I'll just... Alright. Here we go. Ah, Black Blade Reforged. Okay. I mean, we're taking it because it's very, very strong, so. It's definitely not a Karn, unfortunately, but. Well, it's a little too late for that in its Squirrel Monger. It's a little too late for that. It's just funny. Like, I feel like, how many, how many drafts do you have to do? This is like, I've opened probably a hundred packs from drafts alone. And we've never opened one. That's like, that's like crazy, right? Black Blade plus Quende, yeah. Combo. I want to take Mesa Unicorn. It's the only real card in here that we can... And Candle's an option, but I'd rather have Black Blade Reforged on a Mesa Unicorn. All right. Well, we're two cards deep into this pack, and I think it's I think it's going relatively well. Last week, my play group bought. Why did I say Black Blade? What did you say? Because it's it's Black Blade Reforged. It's it's Black Blade. That's oh, you said Blade Blade. Oh, I didn't even see that. Wow, that's funny. What up, Zaxor? I just realized that a Frank 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 is a sausage owned, made by a sincere and honest person named... Oh, that's actually funny. I, I see what you did there. I went in front of a Karn, Teferi, and Jaya. I mean, the only ones I'm excited about there are the Karn and the Teferi. Jaya is literally like four bucks. Uh, it's probably just Honor Guard here. I don't care about untapping anything. We don't have enough wizards to make you relevant yet. I do want another two drop that's not a, an equipment though, so. I could really use some powerful, uh, like a weight of conscience or like an Imbolus's clutches here. <sighs> not a dread shade. Not, not what we're looking for. It's probably just syncopate here. I just like having a syncopate. I think it's solid. I don't think I want a second snapper. Isolated chapel. That could make our... It's probably just Mason Unicorn, actually. Chapel makes cast down maybe playable. Beverage of choice is just the same. Like, I just have Diet Mountain Dew. I don't really vary. I don't, I don't mix it up too much. What's that? What weight of memory? What, what? What's your question? Macy Unicorn is also amazing with Jousting Lance. The old five four two. Uh, 
After you drink some soda, make the aw sound. Could you quietly add the word crisp? Yeah, definitely. Hold on. Let's see if we can get that. Ah, crisp. Is that okay? Now we can take Sulphur Falls. And actually, we can splash the Shivan Fire now. Did I say Weight of Conscience? Why did I say that? Was there a Conscience card in here? I want to take Tetsuko. Tetsuko is real good. Thai Mountain Dew is amazing. Like it actually, it's one of the best tasting uh, diet sodas ever. I've ever had the pleasure of experiencing. Well, this pack's terrible. I'll take the Slinvada for for the lulls. Mama, don't take my coat across away. Oh, another trappy. One crisp buck. <laughs> Oh, I mean, despite the fact that it does benefit me, I really like the 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 freedom with which you you toss these one in five dollar donations out there, Kerwit. I appreciate that, buddy. This hand is not super exciting. This guy has trample, and I can see that being relevant with Black Blade. I don't know if we're playing it, but I mean that's twenty three, so. Oh, double Slinvada. Probably just gonna take short sword. What up, Simac? Thanks so much for the bits, buddy. Appreciate it. Nice little uh beautiful mic. Sixteen creatures. I'll just take short sword. I can actually probably take Knight of New Benalia out. I'm not super impressed with that guy. Whereas this does trigger like Trapper, it tr it's good on Quende, it's good on Avon Century, it's good on Mace Unicorns, it's good on everything, man. Actually, I might like Knight of Nubinalia better now that we have Tetsuko in the deck. Because it's unblockable. So... I like I like Honor Guard because we have like three legends at least. Power stone shard, whatever. This is like one of the more one of the less impre wow, that is a late run. This is one of the less impressive blue white decks we've had. What if we did play sixteen lands? Hmm. Um this is a charge deck, maybe. It's nice to have. Is it a 16 land deck? We got two fives and two sixes. I don't know.
You're definitely in. And go eight, seven. Oh, this deck will probably go 3 0. This is a 3 0 deck, 100%. Nah, we'll just play Black Bait on Tetsuko, Baird, and Quende. Quende! Let's try 16. Let's see what happens. Getting a temporary Karn and draft is hard. It would be easier to build a barn. Kind of sweet blue-white deck at least. And let's hope for Mike Ice Feast. Anyway, I need to work again, Frank and chat. You are all amazing like a cat in the hat. Saxor, have a good afternoon, uh, night, weekend, or, you know, what have you. I'll keep this hand. The sailor said, Quende, you're a fine dude. What a good night you will be. <laughs> Such a fan. That's a, that's a. That was a good. That was a good. Steelers wheel there. Is that Steelers wheel? No, it's Looking Glass. That was a good Looking Glass beam. Oh, gliding up on here. Our choices have, have betrayed us. Your Quende is the sea? That doesn't make any sense at all. One time land, that's not a land, but I'll take it because it's a cutie corn. This is what happens when we play 16 land. Now we're just going to 17. But the difference is 16, between 16 and 17 should not make a difference about hitting your third land. Like, it's just, the percentage is so low. Oh, you're going to academy... Journey Mage and bounce my unicorn. Oh, you're just going to fire intervention my unicorn. Also rude. Hmm. Well. This is pretty much all we can do at the moment, so... Yeah, we'll just pass here. Wow. I think we're just dead to that. Oh, we can draw Invoke, I guess. Invoke would be a sick draw. Land does not do it. All right. Well, we die to Ace Deer Glider. Jesus. And we'll just actually go to 41. I'm totally fine with 41. Oh, you're right. The dude would have had first strike anyway, so blocking wasn't going to be profitable. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll play first. We'll keep this hand. Yeah, that seems significantly better. Time of Ice Bounce with Guardian seems pretty good. Uh, we definitely would have been. We had we had the Vidalian Arcanist. We could have cast Invoke. It would have been a great draw. Would have killed their guy and gained us four. The sailor said, "Quende." That was not good. 
Need some lands to play the game. But my lands, they're not in play yet, Quendi. What up, Casual Calamity? I'll let you resolve whatever you want to resolve. You got it. I'll take two damage. I'll I'll lose two hit points. Uh you I guess you can call me Frank the Tank. I don't love it, but I'm not gonna like I'm not gonna oppose it either, so I'll tap my gentleman. No, I know you're just blocking. Oh, champion of the flame. I think of Frank the Tank is more of a old school reference. The movie Old School with... Uh... Oh, they're going to tap in a response. Okay, you got it. Move to combat. Okay, you didn't do anything with mana. You are just being cute. There's a port on a western fence. <sighs> oh, I like that guy. Give me all the cards. We're going streaming! Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that. And I said, what about breakfast at Quendi's? He said, I think I remember the film. Yes, I recall, I think. We both kind of quendi I guess we just attack with these guys. Who would win in a fight between Freddie Mercury and David Bowie? Freddie Mercury would because he's got just a much more sizable frame. Uh, whereas David Bowie is kind of, uh, he's got a very lanky, like Freddie Mercury, like looks actually buff. Well, that's the one thing we've got. You say we've got nothing in common. I'm just going to play this guy. I think we can syncopate down this turn. Oh, they would have single paint for one. No, okay. No, I will not bounce my my guy. But now, what do I do when the video comes out on YouTube? Just be sad. I already watched it. Yeah, usually it's just sadness. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, what? You're just throwing this guy in the trash can? What a weird... What a weird attack. And I said, what about a breakfast at Quendi's? <laughs> God, why do you guys... What is this ridiculous Quende song? We 
We've got Quende in common. Who sings this song, Breakfast at Tiffany's? Who is that? Oh, don't tell me. It's a Deep Blue Something. Is that the name of the band? Yeah, it is. Nailed it. Nailed it. Wow, they didn't even block. This guy needs to get double strike for sure. If they can go like plus nine, plus nine, double strike, we're dead. So like frenzied rage, frenzied rage, arc. Nope, that's not going to do it. I think I remember that first strike. Oh, there you go. We're getting there. We're getting closer. All right, nine, six. I will take nine. No, they would, what? Oh, I see, you're just you're just doing a meme here. You're just doing a little, I'll do you nine before conceding meme. I got it. Well, he's just doing a little meme there. I get it. I understand. Oh, boy, a bunch of memes. Uh, yeah, I think our deck is fine. I'll just submit. Yes, Leo Magic. I've definitely tried the trick to finish the song, and I still have the stupid uh, two, two and a half men song stuck in my head. Not the lyrics, though. Just the beat. Like, I'll just find myself humming that beat. And it's really strange. It's probably going to be in my head right now, thank, thanks to uh, thinking about it. I actually kind of want to draw the 3-1 with this Tetsuko, because that's 4 damage a turn. We did not draw it, we drew another land. If that doesn't work, Huffing Gas can work too. Okay, well, that's a good secondary trick, I suppose. You should do a Patreon reward with an album of your singing covers with magic cards? Yeah, no one's going to subscribe to that tier, my friends. No one's subscribing to that tier. Look, now we get to be the ace tier glider beatdown deck. Do not kill my little bird, baby. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. Oh, well, they did nothing. Okay. Oh, I, th I imagine singing the trooper when a song is stuck in my head would help. Oh boy, this is going to be nice. Boom, 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 boom. See you later, bye. That was probably the game-winning turn there. Attack for six. All my creatures are evasive in some way, except for the 3-2, which is just a beast on his own. All right, so there we go. 1-0. Oh, wait, actually, let's add the land. I wanted to add that extra land. I don't think, I don't think 16 is a safe place to be. Why you have to go and make things so syncopated? Oh man, dude. That's amazing. I am a fan of that that Avril Lavigne syncopate cover right there. That is straight fire. I can imagine someone waking up with the A Team theme song in their head. They're like, dun 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 Oh, keep you on top. That's a good deal.
this time we'll play short sword we have uh less triggers in the deck and also no real foreseeable way to trigger it so oh oh it's a knight of malice oh yeah God. Oh, you guys are amazing right now. Oh, I can play this and potentially block, or I can play this and deal three next turn, maybe four. I'm going to go with the white guy. What is your opinion of Baird? I started really liking, but I found the tax effect to be a little consequence. It's so cheap that the opponent can almost always pay it without being slow. Uh, I feel the opposite, actually. I think it's I think it's the, the tax effect is great. It's also just a two four for four. It also triggers all your legend, your historic things. It triggers your Davant trappers. Uh, it helps you with legendary sorceries if you get those. Like it does all kinds of things. I think Baird is just fine. Do we just trade here? Okay, one for one. Seems good. Also, I think the tax effect is actually relevant. Like, there's plenty of times where, like, on curve, they can't play a four drop and attack with anything. They can't play a five drop and attack with anything. Late in the game, if you're top decking him on your, like, on, like turn nine, yeah, it's probably not as relevant. But on curve, I think the tax effect is super relevant. That's my opinion. Oh, you're just gonna... You're just gonna kill all my things, huh? Okay. Okay. Bam, <laughs> now i have the 18 song stuck in my head so thank you guys appreciate it who was that Pro pronunciation yeah obviously it was pronunciation well just because it doesn't have as much impact as you thought it would doesn't mean it it's not enough impact. I think that's the, the, the important part. I wish we drew a land, then we can bounce this. We have yet to draw a fifth land and play Guardians and replay this. They have no cards in hand. Yeah, 100%. Kill that idiot. All right. What's it going to be? That's a good draw. Dang these draws. Dang these dr Oh, that was a good draw, though. You'll take my life, I'll take yours too. Fire the musket and I'll run you through. All right. So. I'm just going to pass here. What? Bouncing Time of Ice at Sorcery Shield would have been great. Their guys don't untap during their turn. So we bounce Time of Ice. They, we... 
they don't untap. Goes back to our turn. We replay Time of Ice. It would have been actually fantastic. Uh, they wouldn't untap if we bounced it because the ability is tap target creature. It doesn't untap during its controller's on Oh, for as long as you control Time of Ice? Okay, fair. You guys win. That's rough. Sad days. I didn't I thought that was I didn't think that was part of the actual time of ice. I thought it was part of the trigger. In before 14 people in chat tell me I'm wrong. That was yeah, that was uh similar to the Richard Cheese version of uh the trooper. Oh my god. <laughs> Turn around, Quinn Day. I still it still works with the Blink Murfolk guy because it comes back if you do it during your draw step while the trigger's on the stack. It still comes back before they get a chance to untap. That that one that one still works. Well, that's a big gentleman. Oh, they're just going to actually... We're, that's silly. We're not doing that. A big gentleman, a.k.a. a thick boy. Um, place your triggered ability on the stack. I'll target this one. And then I'll say a big fat no. This is where they blood tallow candle that guardians. Little did they... Oh, my Mesa unicorn. I see. Well then. Time of Mike? Is that a card? What? Wow, that was a good draw. Congratulations on your newfound draw. I'm tired of letting this guy abuse me. Sure. That guy's dead. So is your guy. That was a fair trade. Knight of Malice is pretty obnoxious. What'd you get back? Knight of Malice and Sap Herd? That's annoying. Is it a double block? Is it a double block? They're like, I learned it from you, Dad. Sure. So they're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven power, seven toughness, seven things, eight with this, and we're going to have five, six, seven, eight. All right. I don't foresee, it doesn't have vigilance though, which is sad. Hmm. 
And back down to 288 subs. Sweet. All of our uh, all of our heart three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll take nine. Wow. Infinite sap herds. So you block here, you block here, you take five. Do we have a way to tap? No, of course we don't. Yep, that's annoying. We didn't see a ton of removal, did we? I don't think so. Might just want another arcane flight. This is my last Quen day? I feel like you're reaching with that one. Like we started, keep in mind we started the stream today at 289 subs and now we have 288 subs despite getting like seven subs. So Twitch is a cool platform. <laughs> Um, I think our deck is fine. I will keep this hand and hope to jousting lance all over your face with this with this Mesa unicorn. Turn around, unicorn. Knight of Malice. Oh, just a sapperling migration. You got that good migration. This is still good attacks, which is nice. Like, there's no good block for them. They can chump. Nope, no chumps. All right. This is my time of ice. Oh, my God. You guys are ridiculous. What if I offer sub sandwiches for subs? You could call it subs for subs. I think I'd probably lose money on that deal. Considering I only net about 250 per sub, uh, I don't imagine that me spending probably upwards of $5 per sub is really going to put me on top there. I kind of like attacking here and just eating this gorger. That was probably a smarter attack. I mean, I traded a Mesa Unicorn for eight life and a Gorger. It's pretty good. <laughs> sure. All right, going down 23. That unicorn is getting in there with his little lance. <laughs> oh, why is, things are so much funnier when you use the word little in there. Oh, you got your little lance? Oh, look, this knight's going crazy with his little wings. Oh, man, things are just so much more funny. Uh, no blocks.
Cut my life into pieces. This is my last short sword. This guy. This guy. Alright, let's see the gift of growth on your Yavimaya sap herd. No? No gift of growth. Oh, you did have the gift of growth. Look at that. Would you look at that? Traded a gift of growth for a night token. I feel like It's a Small World After All is probably a worse song to have stuck in my head. Well, that's obnoxious. We have Invoke, so we can actually go <clears throat> Invoke this. Flight on you. And then just keep the keep on keep on four in you. And then we just win this race. I don't assume you have another removal spell. That's not a removal spell, but that's actually a good card drawing engine. You're only attacking with this guy because you're gonna throw it away anyway, so. Yes. This is my last resort. So what we can do is keep up syncopate here. And then we can just win. Because if they tap out for something on this turn, we syncopate it. If they tap out for something on our turn, syncopate it anyway. Oh, it's very aggressive. Oh, I'm actually going to block one of these guys because if you have like another gift, you have to kick it. You're probably just going to draw the card. Sure. The flesh and blood on me. You drew the card before damage? That's interesting. Okay, you're dead, right? Vicious hunger. Nay. Tim, what was your question? Let me find it. Scrolling up, scrolling up. Have you ever received fan art? I have never actually received... Oh, I've received, I've received digital fan art. People have done, like... Uh, they've turned me into a cat. Uh, I was drawn in, like... Uh, I was drawn in other stuff, too. Like, some some random stuff that was just drawn, but... I kind of want Slin Vada, but there's no way we're going to be able to kick it, so we got to be realistic about our... about our, our, our Slin Vada goals. They go wide. I wish I had better... Things to deal with their wideness. <laughs> hugh, 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 hugh. I almost kind of like unwind just to deal with the. Uh... Vicious hunger? We don't have a vicious hunger. Um, I, To deal with slapperling migration. Yeah. 
Also, they don't have much removal. I kind of like the Arcane Flight. I think they have Eviscerate and Blood Tallow. Blood Candle Tallow. <laughs> if that's what it's... If, if, that, if that's even your real name, Blood Candle Tallow. Let me take an Arcanist for another Arcane Flight. Arcanist ain't helping anybody. Uh, this hand seems pretty good. I'll keep it. All right, moment of truth. Do we get to stay 2-0? Oh, Quende Arcane Flight, boy. Don't we have Vicious Hunger from Nemesis in our... Oh, Vicious Hunger. I thought... I'm thinking of Vicious Offering. And then I got that confused with Moment of Craving. So, lots of confusion happening here. I'm pretty sure I might just Sergeant at Arms here. They don't have any green mana, which is interesting. Hmm. Well, I think my four drops are more relevant than this. You're drafting Dominator with a group of kobolds. The only playable card in your pack is pack one is Blood Tell a Candle. Do you take... Um... No, you know take Candle. Like, that's just wrong. I want this blocker out here. I'm going to play the blocker. I feel like we can draw another land next turn. Not too concerned about that. Plus, I'd like being able to double block here if they... Oh, of course they hit a green. Good lord. Well, that's unfortunate. I would have liked to keep playing things like Time of Ice or Quende, but... Ah, <sighs> yep, just gonna pass here. This is probably the deciding turn of the game, I think. Just being not able to not advance our board at all is pretty rough. A land would have been great because then we can play four drop, four drop with Memorial coming down next turn. But now they just... All right, actually, that's just fine. That doesn't give you any profitable tax. That's good. How much can we deal with a Quende and an Arcane Flight and a Short Sword? Eight? Eight damage? That's pretty good. I assume Quende is going to be the first to go, unfortunately. All right. You got two cards in hand. Do we have Adamant Will in our deck? I don't know. Maybe? I don't think so. I feel like I'd know. I'm trying to figure out what to eviscerate. It's always Quende. Quende! Is Short Sword better than Lance there? I mean, we have both, right? Yeah, that's what I figured. 
indestructible. Sure. That's fine because it takes a card out of your hand. I mean, they're dead on board at the Nova Rule, which is pretty sweet because we can give this guy flying and plus one, plus one next turn. So as long as we can dodge removal here. Interesting. I'll block here and assume you don't have a plus one, plus one spell in your hand. I think you're just going to sack. Seems fine. Play some big dumb idiot. All right, that's game. <laughs> and 2-0. -oh. Wow, double arcane flight, boys. <laughs> this deck, remember that, who, who was it that was like, this deck does not look very good. I won't, I'm not impressed. And I'm like, no, no, this is going to be a 3-0 deck. Like, they just need a removal, and they had, like, we saw two removal spells, so. Quende, take the wheel. <laughs> oh, so Quende's a, Quende's an a-hole in the storyline? Oh, I'm sure we're gonna go two one. I don't. I don't know if we're gonna three zero. I think our. I think our luck is running out. But I don't think our deck is bad by any means. Quende tried to kill Teferi. That's messed up, man. Oh, this hand seems fine. It's not super impressive, but they went to six, so. They're probably dead, right? I'm trying not to laugh at that 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 dead or alive meme. Oh, that's probably better. Especially if we can draw Tetsuko. Oh, this on this, unblockable five. Ooh, that's pretty good. I mean, typically, typically, when you when the when when a when someone tries to kill one of the good guys, that makes you the bad guy. Seems good. just not playing anything here it's real dumb <sighs> yep seems good oh how cute can I get my time advice how about that No? Okay. Baron. 
I don't like using this on here instead of the Kolar Snapper, but I don't want to be taking five next turn and then hoping we draw land and then taking another five. So I don't think we actually have the luxury of cold water snapping. And they're just going to kill this anyway. Sure. Oh, crying out loud. <laughs> I, I mulligan to six, but all my six cards were the perfect cards I needed to win the game of Magic the Gathering against my opponent. Yeah, that's not going to do it. All right. Good game. Good game. And by good game, I mean eh, fairly mediocre game. I'm going to bring these cards in. Uh, what are we taking out here? Arcanist is pretty bad. I, think, I guess we can take out Guardians, but I kind of just like how... Probably Partic Wander, I guess. I should have played the cards that win me the game. Solid strategies all around. Let's get down to business to Mulligan. Pass. Now we're the ones who Mulligan to six. Let's see if we can get as good of a hand. What up, Denmark? Oh, man, when people capitalize the P in my last name. Ugh. Nothing is like, I don't, I understand when people get your name wrong, but when your name is written there, that's what gets to me. I'm like, but it's written right there. You can just see it. Look how aggressive this is. This is a bad, this is a bad idea, but we, we're not actually hitting a third land drop here, so. My girlfriend loves Nicobolus and says he just wants a hug and that's why he's so mad all the time. Maybe that's true. Quende sounds like the Killmonger to Teferi's Black Panther. This is where this is where the chat becomes actual monsters and just uh, just gives into my hatred. Oh, that's a good that's a good one. Hey, I got a little landy. I kind of just want to pass here because I don't really feel like we're gonna win any races here. I'd rather just keep up the two counter spells in our hand. Descendant of a vanished land, student of a forgotten general, and master of blades, no smith could forge anew. He honors them all by living a life worthy of song. Interesting. Maybe he's not a bad guy. Any good books you've read recently would recommend? Um, Not recently. I'm in the middle of a couple, but I... Reasonable trades. Nah. You do not get this. I'm 
All right, we're not dead yet. Oh, I see. I will probably block if you do this. Do you do not want to do this? Uh, I don't even know what Fazoli's is. Is that a is that an, is that the Italian fast food chain? Interesting. They didn't even equip there. I wonder if they block here. Yeah, I'll, I'll make this trade. I mean, ideally, they can just have lands in their hand, and uh, they only draw lands for the rest of the game. I don't think I've ever been to a Fazoli's before. General motor insurance, not recommendable. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. This is kind of what we were hoping to draw, to be quite honest. Gideon's approach, your Mesa Unicorn. I have all the things for your Mesa Unicorn. You don't have any of the things. Okay. I thought Fazoli's went out of business. You aren't missing much. Wow, the chat the chat does not care about the spicy sampler, guys. Oh, how nice. Yeah, see now we're gonna top deck our time of ice, and it's gonna be like, well, this doesn't do anything for me right now, so thanks for nothing. That's good eventually. This guy's getting tapped down eventually, so. On the bright side, I still got to just keep my two guys. It doesn't kill them. LaFof, what's going on, buddy? Oh, I see. You're just gonna you're just gonna do the old me. That's real mature. Shoot, you can't even handle my unicorn style. Two lands, and this is gonna be a nine nine unicorn, brah. Give me all my dudes back. Oh, Fazoli's has good breadstick. That's about it. Okay, you just keep bouncing my things. Black Blade beats are coming, boy. Boom, 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 boom. One more land. One more land. Look at this guy. He's he's trying. He's trying real hard to be the unicorn you've always wanted him to be. Land, 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 that's all I want is my seventh land. I know I never ask for much, but give it to me. Nine, nine unicorns every day. Yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a beefy boy. Little Lance with Whittle Wings. Yeah, that's... Oh, the Double Danitha deck. That's pretty good. Are 
Are we in a race? No. This isn't a racing situation, apparently. I like that we have no incentive not to play lands here. Oh my god, Blackblade is so insane, dude. <laughs> we got nine. Nine first strike, huh? Okay, I got 10-10. Oh, I get it. I, I could take a double block until I play a land, but... You like that I didn't actually re-equip in a turn? I should have done that. I have six too quick. Gives them attacks. I mean, we're at 34, though, if they want to attack. Knock yourself out. She has vigilance. She should have attacked. That's a tilt. It's going to keep getting bigger. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Got the Gideon's Reproach. That actually does it. Go block, block, first strike, and then Gideon's Reproach. Gain 11. Now we don't want to switch because then he dies. So... I don't want to lose a unicorn just to have an untapped unicorn. This is a hell of a game. This game is amazing. We just get to keep playing lands because this guy's huge. Fifty-two damage. Life, rather, is what I meant. Oh, black. This is an aggressive attack. Because now we can alpha, you have to block this guy. But if you have one removal spell... You got the Eviscerate? No. Oh, that's a good card. Can I draw something that's not a land? I mean, I get that the lands have actually been incrementally helpful... But I really... I'm done. I'm done with the lands now. We're going to tap you down. Because you actually have to block here or else you die. So... Look at my horse. This horse is amazing. Give it a lick. It tastes just like raisins. 61 life seems good. Okay, we win. Wow, the deck seems great. Aerial, double Danatha, time of ice. Like, we got our work cut out for us, boys and girls, ladies and gentle beasts of burden. See, the funny thing is, Homer is actually not terrible because we can mill something relevant. So, it is a way to get rid of a card that we otherwise would have a hard time dealing with. Do we just have enough time to play Slinvada? Well, I feel like your 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 beast of burden uh your beast of burden meme there is a little it's a little reaching there. Ooh, that was loud. I don't even like cast down here just because it doesn't hit Ariel or Danatha or Danatha.
I almost like the Shivan Fire, to be quite honest. Like, we can bring in Shivan Fire cast down. Add one Swamp, one other thing, and one Navigator's Compass. It's a little rough, though. We don't have a ton of removal, though. Maybe it's actually good. I wonder if this is... This seems interesting. <laughs> Billy, you're definitely not my cousin. Don't be telling people you're my cousin, you weirdo. I'm gonna go 42. I don't even care. I'm just wanna. I'm just gonna do it. We're gonna splash two removal spells and go 42 to try to win this match. This is a good hand. It feels super weird to do, and I don't advocate it. I don't think it's correct, but we had little time, and I think it's better to go to 42 than it is to uh, submit as is. It gives us two sources of each other color, and. Uh, Two more removal spells, which could be relevant. Okay, that's enough lands, though. We're 42 cards with 17 lands, so we shouldn't actually be hitting this many lands. I got a lot of cousins in the chat, apparently. Yep, that is a cutie. Icy Manipulator. That's pretty good. That's a good one. Sure. I think they traded with Mesa Unicorn here just because we put the fear in them last time. Oh, they didn't ta they didn't trade at all. That's fantastic. Oh, that is nice. Dang. Deep freeze, icy, invoke is MVP this match apparently. How many icy manipulators is too many? I think three is too many. I think two is probably the sweet spot. Ba da da dump 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 da 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 dump dump dump. We're going to save this for the turtle. I think if we get this on turtle, like, it's just unbeatable. Oh, a little unicron. Get in there. I'll trade with Unicorn all day. All day I'll trade with that Unicorn. Break even. Stay at 15. Oh, you're going to add it. You're going to will. Oh, that's good. Oh, you're going to reproach that guy. Sure. Mm. 
Well, Icy is pretty obnoxious, as you can imagine. Sure. We have yet to cast Turtle. They have one card in hand? Oh, that's good for us. I don't think you can attack here. You tap down Quende, you take four. I mean, I guess it's possible. What do I know? It's clearly not much. Does that do anything we care about? I don't think so. I'll choose you. No, nope, can't do it. <laughs> it looked like it was one of the only ones that I didn't control that was highlighted. So I was like, what happens if I click this? Apparently nothing. All right. I feel like we're doing well here. Oh, the attacks have ceased. Danatha. That's pretty brutal. All right, tap a gentleman down. Oh, that's good. Because now we can get in there with Quende, which is we couldn't have done before. Uh, I think if you trade with Barrett, it's totally fine. Actually, you take two more, but you take one, two, three, four, five, six. You go to seven. Or you block here, you take four, five, six, seven. I think it's probably fine just attacking with Quende because we have time of ice. We can actually just tap down their guy. Yeah, I don't care if they're if they're if they're gonna tap seven mana to replay their Drake, I think that's totally fine. Do you have Adamant Will? Is that your last card? Wow, that's very good. Yep. Yeah, if they're gonna replay their Drake, they're not gonna have enough mana to icy something, which is just fine. We might as well attack. No? Okay. Yeah, I feel like we just uh, actually have not drawn good enough. Come on, turtle. All right, so they're just hitting lands here, which is pretty sweet. 
I wish I could tap my own Mesa Unicorn. They can actually tap something, though, and, and return it to my hand. They did not, though. Oh, are they going to? Oh, they didn't. All right, sweet. Value. Yep, that's a good dude. Hmm. <sighs> Tap this. God, Icy Manipulator is such a beating, dude. If we put it on here, we could have actually dealt three. This guy would have died. I feel like we actually have to pass here. But I think we just start losing if we do that. Put them to three, play another guy. They have two guys, one of them is a Danatha. Yeah, I don't think attacking here is wise. Yeah, we'll probably be putting flight on Baird next turn, but like they can they can go Danatha equip, still have icy manipulator mana, which is super frustrating. Where's all this removal I brought in? Well, here's a cast down. You ready? Cast down off the top. Oh, they don't equip Oh, wow. Just mono creatures. It's actually pretty good. Boom, boom, boom. Burder, burder, burp, boom, boom, boom. Guess we'll see what happens. Tap down the Baird. Block, block. Sure. I'll take a two for one. This is where it starts getting bad. Unicorn. It doesn't do anything on the unicorn. This is a 2-4. Like, Danith is going to get equipped anyway, so it doesn't matter. Casual Clemmy, have a good night, buddy. I would really love to draw something that's irrelevant to this board. Oh, what? Really? Yeah, but we don't care if Baird gets tapped because then then we can get in there with the Guardians at the time. Like we we, we just care we just want two four power guys on the board and one of them can Shivan Fire. That's how you do it.
So if you tap down a three, I think we just win the game here. You tap down a three, you still take three, four, five, six, seven. That's just, that's game. Ooh, boy. Universe is a simulation and 3-0, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0. Like you do. Good games. These games were actually great. And the last four. Remember the time we said Shiv and Fire and it was right on the top? That's what we needed? Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. That was a great game. That was a great series of matches. Uh, remember that, that time the guy said, oh, it doesn't, it doesn't look very good. And then we went 3-0 with it. So that's a just, you just gotta, just gotta win anyway. Uh, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Uh, check out my Patreon. It's right in the description. Patreon.com slash Frank Lepore. I am offering new magic content. You guys can check it out right in there for like a dollar a month. That's nothing. And, uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.